Hello, my name is Chris Rich, President of Support Our Fine Arts, and I wish to welcome you to a very special 2021 Best of Fame production. These past 14 months have presented us with unprecedented challenges, and few activities have been as deeply impacted as the arts. I'm very proud to say that with the tireless efforts of SOFA's volunteers and a very generous local community, we have continued our mission to support fine arts programming throughout the Burncoat Arts Quadrant. During this time, we've partnered with local businesses on multiple fundraising efforts, expanded our social media presence, introduced an alumni outreach program, and conducted a successful mini-grant season. Each year, the Fine Arts Magnet Extravaganza showcases all of the great learning and work in grades K-12 through and has been our primary source of fundraising. With all of the challenges faced due to COVID-19, we have been unable to celebrate so many of these great art exhibits and performances. We very much look forward to the day when we can once again enjoy the efforts of these truly gifted students in person. Please help us to continue to support these essential arts programs by making a donation to SOFA today. Thank you and enjoy the show. Did you know that the kids at Worcester Arts Magnet start writing scripts in the second grade? No, that's amazing. Well, our next group is 17 young actors that took an actor's workshop with their drama teacher, Mrs. P. Yup, in the workshops, they took a children's book and they turned it into a play. And now the Worcester Arts Magnet second graders present their adaptation of Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type. Electric 
link it to? That's kind of funny. <laughs> How is that funny? You see me laughing, I'm not laughing. No way! No electric blanket! No, no way, no electric blanket! Well, when the chickens heard that, they took drastic action. No!
award-winning chorus from Worcester Arts Magnet School. The name was inspired by a play on words. The metronome is in a device used to keep a steady beat on various tempos. The ensemble was awarded platinum and gold ratings. The chorus is the youngest group in the middle school category since there is not normally one in, the, in elementary school in this region. Enjoy their performance.
much more. So let's give it up for our WAMS metronomes.
Worcester Arts Magnet Drama Department. So today, they are proud to present this next group of creative second grade actors. These young actors wrote, staged, and designed the costumes they're wearing tonight with a little help from their director, Tina Pugerly, Savage. And now, night is the time of the dragons. Enjoy! So, the Burncoat Theater Department, under the direction of Jeremy Ulowski, Amy Culey, and George Kalivas, produces over 10 full-scale performances a year, a mix of full-scale productions, coffee houses, and small in-class performances help round out not only the actor, but the student. The Theater Department also produces a fall drama and a spring musical, which are from grades 7 through 12. Tonight's performance of Hopeless Hamlet by Wade Bradford is the story of a theatrical performance of Hamlet, where anything that can go wrong does go wrong. Enjoy the play. Backstage. The audience is right behind that curtain. They can hear you. I'm sorry, Hamlet. I'm still getting used to this drama stuff. I'd rather be coaching, but the basketball season is over, and my water polo team quit on me. What? We don't have a pool, and I got tired of Panto Mammon in the parking lot. Mm. <laughs> What's with her? Oh, she's just getting into character. It's called method acting. What's that mean? She embraces the personality in every way possible. Yeah, but I thought she didn't turn into a loony bird until Act 3. Suck, you know, with the fair Ophelia. I'm sure she'll be fine as soon as the curtain comes up. Oh, hey, did uh, Thomas and Eric arrive yet? Nope. What do you mean, nope? We start the show and they open in two minutes. Don't worry, I found replacements. They're good girls. Girls? They're palace guards, they're supposed to be men. It's bad enough that you cast the role of Horatio as a girl. And look, she doesn't even know her lines yet. That is so not true. How do you spell fortune bras? Where are the replacements? Girls! 
Like a melancholy Dane. Hi, I'm Brittany, and this is my best friend. Also, Brittany, it's a pleasure to be acting with you. Bless everyone. <laughs> you two better know what you're doing. <laughs> my baby boy. Mom, what are you doing backstage? You're supposed to be out your seat in the audience. Oh, your stepfather is so boring to sit with. He's already fallen asleep. Here, let me take a picture of you. Oh, I am so proud of my little superstar. I so wish I could have done theater when I was in high school. I could have made it on stage and been the queen of Broadway. Oh, now I'll just live my dreams through you. Oh, wait, you want me to be the star of Broadway? Oh, you know what I mean. Now, are you sure there's no place for me in the ensemble? I can just stand in the background and look interested. I'm positive. Get out from backstage, get to your seat, and tell Hank not to snore too much. Hey, Steve, you look great. I don't think I could do this. What do you mean? I mean, I'm, I'm too scared. What? The ghost says stage fright? Ha! You know your lines, right? Sure, sure. Um, I am thy father spirit, doing for a certain term to walk the night. Brilliant! What, what's the problem? It's just, I haven't performed in front of so many people before. I have a queasy feeling in my gut. I know exactly what that is. The side effect of steroids. <laughs> no! It's just opening that jitters. Butterflies in your stomach. Trust me, you'll be fine. You know why? Why? Because the audience will be paying attention to me, not you. Really? Yeah, why do you think Coach cut so many scenes? So that audience could focus on the most important part of the stage. Me. You'll do fine, kid. Good luck, everybody. Coach, it's bad luck to say good luck. Oh, is that one of those superstitious things, like saying big math? <laughs> Just get off the stage and open up the curtains. All right, everybody, five minutes. <laughs> Tonight, I have seen nothing. Uh, um, t tush, tush, it will not uh, appear. Peace, break the off. Look as the ghost approaches. Looks it not like the king? Speak to it, Horatio. Ah! Tis gone and, and will not answer. Uh, let us impart. <laughs> who we have seen tonight unto young Hamlet. Let's do it! Oh, the mist too! Too solid flesh would melt and resolve itself into a dew. Hail to your lordship! Or that the everlasting are not fixed itself into self cannon. Too stale, weak, and unprofitable seem Hail to, to be- Hail to your lord! Tis an unweeded garden, fear ranked in nature and mm, gross! You licked my hand? Hail to your lordship! I am glad to see you, Horatio. Or do I forget myself? Uh, uh, um, my lord, um, I What Horatio means is that we saw your father's ghost. <laughs> saw whom? My lord, the king, your father. The king, my father? Duh, that's what we said, follow us. <laughs> all is not well. Baladine will arise and all the earth overwhelm them. Two men's eyes. Okay, enough with your soliloquy. Let's go! The air, by Shrewdly. It is cold. What hour now? I think it lacks the twelve. No, it is struck. Spooky, spooky, spooky! Look, my lord, it comes! Angels and ministers of grace, defend us! Behold the ghost! Yep. 
Your father's fear is approaching. Any moment now. Uh, art thou certain that a ghost came to this spot? I am sure he would appear before us by now. It, um, uh, it beckons you to come away with it. No, not yet, good Horatio. You speak in the wrong line. Although the ghost should be out right now. Oh, well, we were wrong. There's no ghost. Good night, Lord Hale. Let's see you tomorrow. No, you don't. Oh, thou will not leave their noble prince in these dark, dark woods. Thou stand by my side until that ghost gets his butt out onto the stage. I know. Maybe if we do a cheer, it'll get the ghost to come out. That's right. Let's show that old fear team spirit. Please don't. Ready? Okay. Hamlet's daddy, please up here. Get your ghostly rear in gear. Go ghosty. Go ghosty. G-O-S-T ghost. Go ghosty. Yay. Ghost is spelled with an H. No, that would spell gosh. <laughs> you two are the most pathetic guards in all of Denmark. Look, I think I see your father's spirit approaching. Finally. Angels and ministers of grace, defend us! Oh wait, it's not the ghost. <laughs> Sadly, no. It appears to be an, en an enchanted tree. It's delivering, it's delivering a telegra te what? telegram. What's it say? Uh, the ghost has locked himself in the bathroom. <laughs> Take me with you, magic tree! No, good Horatio! You will stay here! The ghost will be out soon! Though I did not know that ghosts use toilets. Do you still have to use the bathroom in the afterlife? I know if not. To pee or not to pee? <laughs> that is the question. Please stop that. But lo, I see a strange figure in the distance. Could it be the ghost? And she's gone crazy. How? Oh, I know. She may strew dangerous conjectures in ill breeding minds. What does that mean? She's lovesick over Hamlet. <laughs> Ready? Okay. Oh, Hamlet, you're so fine. You're so fine. You blew her mind. Hey, Hamlet. Hey, Hamlet. Hey, Hamlet. Yay. I wish we could skip to my destiny in Act 5. But lo! I see another strange figure! Could it be the ghost? <laughs> A large tr tr trash can shaped go ghost. Th this is freaking me out right now. Why can't you still be married to Dad? Instead of Mr. Rip Von Winkle snoring it up in the center 
row. Sometimes the choices you make drive me insane. I don't know whether they just mope around, consumed in my own depression, or just let my mind wander and just let it snap. My lord, it cornflakes? Oh, great, I'm sweating. Ooh, ooh! Speak, Charlie, father, and let us know what took you so long to appear before us. Oh, Ebenezer Scrooge. What? Ebenezer Scrooge, why do you hate Christmas so much? <laughs> Thou art in the wrong place. You're looking for the junior junior high down the street. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> I turn my back for one minute, and you're seeing another ghost. The only one who wants him is me. Hey, hey, where's your holiday spirit, lady? <gasps> oh, something is truly rotten in the state of Denmark. Oh, sorry. I had egg salad. Mm. Hamlet, why did you leave me? Uh, Ophelia? Where are you? I am floating down the river. Here's have some seaweed. Ophelia, we are looking for a ghost. I am a ghost. I drowned in the river. Remember? Get the tweet. No, not house. And I shall haunt you forever unless you obey my command. And what, pray tell, do you command of me? Take me. Take you where? To the prom, of course. I already told you I'm going with the Apple Hatcher. That squiny little girl one of the mics? I can't stand. That's not no little. <laughs> okay, okay, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Father Spirit, doomed for a certain term to walk the night, and for the day confined to fast and fire, the foul crimes done in my days of nature are burnt and purged away. With that, I am forbid to tell the secrets of my prison house. I could not tell unfold whose lightest word would hair of thy soul, freeze thy young blood, make thy two eyes like stars to start from their spears. Thy knotted and combined to locks to part, and each particular hair to stand and end, like quills upon a fretful porcupine. Wow, he's really good. <laughs> and scary. But this eternal blaze it must not to be, to ears and flesh and blood list, list, oh list, if thou didst ever, ever thy dear father love. Oh my God. Revenge his foul and most now natural murder. <laughs> Amateurs.
is known as the Wham's Metronomes. It is under the music direction of Chrysanth Minwell and the dance direction of Kathy Taylor. Solitary word. You break the And you also had some faults, but for the moment, let's just say. Washi. I'm not very handsome or clever or lucid I've always been stupid at spelling and numbers I've never been much playing football, baseball, or stickball, or checkers, or marbles, or ping pong. Oh, how could there possibly be one small person as thoroughly, totally, utterly, blah, as me? Wait! You're not very much of a person. That's certain.
day. If you're wondering now, how do we start? Just blow the music till you know it by heart. We're gonna celebrate. We'll throw a party. Beethoven's birthday. Beethoven's day. And when you say the title, Beethoven's day, you hear a great recital. So facing this direction, we begin it today. A musical collection, everybody can play. The right of every boy and girl to stand up and say, Hooray! Now we're going into theater. Okay, so I want to tell you this is a play. It's from a film by Alfred Hitchcock in the Boston, uh, excuse me, Boston, the Burncoat High School and the Burncoat Middle School Theater will present an excerpt from the film, The 39 Steps. This is an engaging, fast paced whodunit that celebrates the magic of theater. Closely following the storyline of Alfred Hitchcock's 1935 film, the play features more than 130 characters. Now, we couldn't get all those kids on the stage, so we have a cast of four. Four actors, including Quinlan Fitzgerald as the intrepid hero, uh, and he plays Richard Henley. Uh, Shalom DeSoto plays all the romantic female leads, and Maddie McKenney Lysak and Brent Levesque plays everything else. Poor Brent. <laughs> okay, now you throw in Alfred Hitchcock, and then you put in a juicy spy novel, and then you throw in a dash of Monty Python, and you have the 39 steps. London, 1935, August. I've been back at the old country for three months and frankly wondering why. The weather made me liverish, no exercise to speak of, and the talk of the ordinary Englishmen made me sick. I'd had enough of restaurants and parties and race meetings. No pal to go about with, which probably explains things. Hoppy Binge lost to the Canadian treasury. Tommy DeLorraine married off to a blonde Harris in Chicago. Chips Carruthers eaten by a crocodile in Limpopo. Leaving me, Richard Hannay, sound and wind in limb, back home. Which was no home if you really want to ask. Just a dull little rented flat on West One. Portland Place, actually. And I was bored. No more than bored. Tired. Tired of living and tired of life, to be honest. That was until three days ago when I was wrapped up with a murdered Russian spy in my flat. And me, Richard Hannay, suspected of the crime? Really? Richard Hannay? A murder? So now, 
I, Richard Hannay, am running, out, running from the police, German spies, and anyone else who's trying to kill me, Richard Hannay. All in the favor of just looking for that man with the missing pinky finger and getting my dull, boring life back. Well, that brings us up to the present, where I, Richard Hannay, am sitting on this train. Hopefully, I can find someone or something that can help me find out what those 39 steps are and for me to clear my name. For one thing, they're much prettier than they were 20 years ago. More free. Free and easy. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the old-fashioned sort? All bones and no bends. My wife! <laughs> Have a look at this now. This is our new streamlined model number one. A glory to behold! Anything to go with it. Oh, look at this little beauty. Oh, that's a sight for sore eyes. <laughs> you can say that again, the two wonders of the modern world. Tell you what, bring them back when they're filled. <laughs> Get it? Get it? When they're filled. When they're filled. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's the spirit. That's the spirit. Where are we now? Halifax, Durham, Berwick-upon-Tweed. Biscuit? Oh, I'm much obliged. Biscuit? Oh, no, thank you. Suit yourself. Here we are, Edinburgh Town. Ah, oh, that was quick. Wonder what won the two o'clock at Windsor. Oh, I'll get a paper. I'll go to the loo. Oh, excuse, excuse me. me. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Evening paper. Evening paper, sir. Evening paper, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Evening paper. Latest news. Evening paper. Excuse, oh, excuse me. me. Sorry. 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 Hello. Hello. Good Lord. What is it? Been a woman murdered in a fashionable West End flat. All these sex dramas don't appeal to me. What one? What one? What? The two o'clock at Windsor. Ah, the two o'clock at whoop. The two o'clock at Windsor. Mm, bachelor boy. Good. At uh, seven to four on. Not so good. Anyway, where was we? Stabbed in the back she was. Portland Mansions, Portland Place. By the BBC. That's quite the place to put someone to sleep. What was she like? One of the usual. <laughs> well dressed woman about thirty five. Terrible. 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 The tenant Richard and A is. He's missing. You do surprise me. He's approximately 37 with dark wavy hair, piercing blue eyes, and a, uh, a pencil mustache. Um, excuse me. Yes. yes? May I have a look at your paper? Certainly. Thank you. Think I'll pop out to the buffet car. You finished? Do you fancy anything? No, thank no, you. No, thank you. Right, you are. Excuse, excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry. 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 Good heavens! Place is stiff with police! Excuse me, Constable, have you caught the West End murderer yet? We'll catch him, don't you worry, sir. That's the spirit. All aboard, all aboard, next off the highlands. Anything suspicious, you let us know, sir. Oh, yes, don't you worry. All aboard, all aboard. Final edition, final edition, sir. Thank you, sir. All aboard, all aboard. All right, all right. Don't forget to keep your eyes peeled, sir. Certainly won't, Constable. Don't forget, sir. No, I won't, Constable. All aboard, all aboard. Read all about it, read all about it. Anything suspicious, you let us know, sir. Certainly will, Constable. All aboard, all aboard. Is this the 941 to Reading? Ah, this is Platform 12. Thank you. All aboard, all aboard, let's be having, yeah? Read all about it, read all about it. All aboard, all aboard. Read all about it, read all about it. All aboard, all aboard. All right, all right, just get on with it. Thank, Thank you. you. Pat. Shh, shh. Excuse me. Sorry. 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 <clears throat> well, back from the fake car. Listen to this. What is it? The the police are searching the train. Every compartment. Every compartment. Listen. Here's a corker. There was a young man from Nantucket grew a Venus flytrap oh, in a box. excuse me. Hope you don't mind us talking shop. Oh, no, not at all. We're on the run, you see. <laughs> from our wives. <laughs> <laughs> we never go home. We ride the trains and sell underwear. That's all we do. <laughs> okay, anyways, there was that young man from Nantucket. He grew a Venus flytrap in a bucket. He thought once it grew, what to do? Keep for breeding oh, Excuse me. Shh. Shh. He was in a rush. But have you seen this man? His name is Richard Hannay. 
Excuse me, so sorry to disturb you, but have you seen this man? His name is Richard Tanay. Shh. Shh. Oh, darling, how lovely to see you. Shh. Oh, looks like someone's having a free lunch in there. And a free pudding, too. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm terribly sorry. Oh, oh I'm terribly sorry. Uh, my name's Richard Henney. I was desperate. I had to do it. You see, I'm on the run from the police. Oh, but I swear I'm innocent. It's, I need to stay away for a few days. It's completely vital to the safety of... Excuse me, so sorry to disturb you, but have you seen this man passing in the last few minutes? His name is Richard Henney. But we came by just a new and saw you too well, you know. <laughs> he, he came in here and forced himself upon me. His name is Richard Hannay. Is your name Richard Hannay? Certainly not. This young lady clearly just... Ah! Oh! After him, Constable. Right, sir! Oh! I can see that, Constable. Grab him, man. Right, sir. Oh, uh, can I help? Not now, miss. I'll stand here, then. Right, miss. Just a thought. Yes, miss. What about the communication cord? Ah, good idea, miss. Shall I pull it, then? Pulling the communication cord now. No, sir. Not the communication cord. What will happen to Richard Henne now? Will he find the real killer? Will he get his dull, boring life back? Will he find, finally find true love? Will he, or will Richard Henne go splat when the freeze is over? Find out December 4th to 6th when Benko Productions presents Alfred Hitchcock's The 39 Steps at Benko Middle School Auditorium. Well, time to go splat, Richard Henne. Ah!